Girl, it is summertime and it is time to make sure that these pits are together. Let's talk about it and get them all the way together. Okay, girls, we're about to talk about these pits because if you're like me, I sweat like a man and you got to get these pits together because the sun is out in full effect. Okay, I don't know where you are, but I'm in Texas and baby, you're about to be sweating. Do you hear me? And what you don't want to do is be around somebody, be up on somebody, be next to somebody, be in front of somebody and be smelling. So let's talk about how we get these pits together. But before we get started, welcome to all of my guests. Welcome to any returning guests and my journey fam. You know we got the love for you. What is up? I'm glad to see you back here today. If you are a returning guest, girl, maybe you'll decide by the end of this you like me and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you be a part of my journey fam. Well, anyways, let's get ready to get on into this armpit segment. <laughs> okay boo let's talk about these armpits we're gonna talk about dark armpits we're gonna talk about pretty armpits we're gonna talk about stinky armpits we're gonna talk about all the pits okay again disclaimer i am not a medical professional of any kind i'm just a sweaty texas girl here trying to help you with some of the things that i have girl tried a million times over to remedy and i think i might have found the trick that's it. A sweaty girl trying to help you get unsweaty too, okay? So let's go ahead and get into what I do. Now, I will tell you what I started out with, and then I'll tell you next kind of what I figured out for myself. So, always been sweaty girl, all the way through school, I mean, really struggled with sweating. And it wasn't just the sweating, it was the sweating with the smell. That was the problem. Always trying to get rid of the smell, right? And so the first thing that I figured out was using men's deodorant. So if I do use a men's deodorant, this is the deodorant that I will use. This is the brand that I will use. Now, all these health people don't come for me because I'm just telling you what I do and you can do what you want to do with your body. We all know that there's unhealthy things in these products and almost all the products really. And even when it says it's not unhealthy, there's still things in there that are unhealthy for us. So I'm just telling people who want the remedy what worked for me and then you get to decide if you want to leave it on the table or take it, right? And so the men's antiperspirant has... Um, higher percentages of the ingredient ingredients that help them not sweat and so baby secret was telling all my secrets okay <laughs> it was not doing it she was telling everybody what was going on she got pit problems listen she had to go okay so i started switching over to men's deodorant which was helping me so so much more but it still was not enough i was still sweating through my shirts that's when you start getting the brown and yellow stains under your shirts you know i'm constantly washing off trying to figure out how in the world do i keep from smelling when i'm doing everything i can do so the next thing i figured out was a of course adding more and more and more and more water but that's still not going to do it so the next thing i added on was sugar scrub hopefully you can see this one not particularly this smell guys but or even this brand it doesn't matter this is the tree hut brand i love the tree hut brand i love the consistency of the tree hut brand um i love all of the smells because they just make you feel beautiful and make you feel pretty because you know i'm a self-care girl but just the grit is just the right grit for me and so what i found myself doing was at night along with the men's deodorant scrubbing my pits and when i say scrubbing i mean like gently rubbing right we're not like Girl, if you want some raw pits, that's the thing to do is scrub, scrub like you crazy with this stuff. And you're going to be like, Tiffany told me, no, she didn't. I am telling you to take like a quarter size of it, put it in your hands and gently massage under your armpits from front to back. Don't forget this, the front piece and then the back piece. I think people think, okay, our pit is just underneath. But when you sweat, if you think about your sweatiest day, when you sweat and you put your armpits down, where else do you feel the sweat? It like oozes to the front, right? Oozes to the back. And so you can't forget those areas either. So I take my scrub and I was doing it every single night because one, 
I used so much deodorant, I didn't want to clog up my pores. And so I was unclogging my pores and also stripping away the scent. So I was gently scrubbing with this every night and then double washing and then using men's deodorant. Now at night, I do try to let my pits breathe and air out. I don't really put anything, any deodorant on them. But in the daytime when I was using deodorant, the men's deodorant. And let me just tell you, no matter what deodorant I use, I always, always have it in my purse, my bag, my work bag, whatever. Baby, we ain't going nowhere without some deodorant on deck, okay? <laughs> so do note that you need to always have a travel size deodorant, a spray deodorant, your deodorant, whatever it is in your bag, because you always wanna feel secure. You don't ever wanna be somewhere and feel like, oh my gosh, I stink and I can't do anything about it. I had deodorant in my work bag, in my purse, in my car baby i had it any and everywhere okay in my desk like we had deodorant everywhere okay you want to smell good at all times so we've talked about the men's deodorant we've talked about light gentle scrubbing you can scrub for quite a minute as long as it's gentle almost think of like a massage when you're when you're scrubbing and then you want to rinse and then double wash let me tell you i don't know if you've ever done it but let's say you go take a shower and you use your towel and you don't clean good enough, your towel will smell. That lets you know you didn't scrub good. So you need to scrub and then dub, rinse off and then double wash, okay? I found this called Happy Pits. This is found in Ulta um, and I saw it just walking around cause I am a walk around the store Ulta girl. Um, even if you're not buying that then. <laughs> and I was like, Happy Pits? Girl, yes girl, yes. Let's get it and see if it works. It is a detoxifying underarm mask. Now, I do know if you cannot afford to buy this because I'm all for the single mamas and the ladies who don't have it. I am not telling you to run out and get this. I will put up on the screen how much this costs. It does, I will tell you mamas and women who have, you know, limited funds. If you're able to squeeze this amount out, it lasts a long time. I wish you could feel this bottle because it's still heavy and me and my daughter both use it. So the clay in it, it spreads so easily and so thinly that you don't have to use a lot. It is a dark clay and I showed this in one of my other videos. I don't know if you can see that, but if you can see inside the cap there, it's like a dark uh, gray clay and it spreads really quickly and very thinly. So you don't have to use a lot and it's going to last you a long time. Also, if you can't afford to buy this, you can Google underarm detox on YouTube. And there's lots of people on there doing natural forms of this, where you can just make your own paste at home. But I will say, if you struggle with sweating like me, you might want to do that at least once a week. Maybe on the weekends when you wake up and the kids are asleep and you're doing your self-care for the morning, go ahead and slap some paste up under there and walk around and then rinse it off later. Go take you a really good shower that makes you feel great and then you've done your detox for the week so when i feel like what i'm doing with the sugar scrub and the deodorant wasn't working i would use this and it would almost like reset my pits for me and then i felt better about also once again detoxing that deodorant that i was using so the mega babe happy pits detoxifying underarm mask with charcoal this has been a game changer for my daughter and i for sure okay moving on Okay, two other things really quickly. They're not really, well, one's a product, but one is not to kind of help with the sweaty chicks that's trying to get it together. Um, you want to find you some kind of sweat antiperspirant wipe. Now, this is one from LA Fresh, and I will show you the back. It says no sweat um, antiperspirant here. These come in every kind of form. You can find them anywhere. They're almost like the feminine wipes that you can buy, which I love too, by the way. But this is for the pits. Come on, girl. This is clutch. When I used to, was at my sweatiest point in my life, I would be in the bathroom, splash around like a bird with paper towel and water. Like, but now they actually have these, which are convenient to fit in your purse, your little clutch, your pad bag. You can slip this in the bra tab. You didn't have nowhere else to put it. <laughs> Old school way, you know, however you need to get it to the bathroom and wipe off and refresh. 
um, or in your office rather than having a whole big thing of baby wipes or having to use a towel you can just carry these these are so so clutch i will see if i can find them of course i will see if i can find all of this stuff and leave the links down below for you to make it easy for you but i will see if i can find these and if not these something else but this is something i have in my purse at all time if you've watched any of my other videos i always keep a little bit of everything for the just in case in my purse and now this is added to it so make sure you have these so you can always stay fresh along with your travel deodorant of whatever kind you use so that way no matter what you can go wipe off reapply and feel fresh for the day okay let's talk about clothing real quick if you are a sweaty girl, if you struggle with scent, if you struggle with, you know, just staying cool, like I run really, really hot. So girl, running hot on top of armpit funk, like that's an issue. But um, <laughs> if you run hot like me, you want to avoid certain materials, girls. Listen, they make some of the most beautiful dresses out of that chiffon material and that little slinky material that's always on all of the websites. Those are a no-no. I opt for anything that is as cotton blend as I can get because it's going to allow your body to breathe the most. Anything that's skin tight to the arms and the armpits, that's no-no. You're asking for it. So I will opt for dresses, shirts, anything like that that's either going to have the pits out or it's going to have like loose around the pits so that it can breathe. And if it is any kind of tight, it's going to be made of a cotton. I literally go on Shein and specifically look for things that say cotton or I will go in there and narrow it down and type cotton in to show me everything that's cotton blend honey don't give me no synthetic stuff because it's going to aid in my sweating so um just be aware of wearing very tight clothing um underneath the armpits and also the materials that you're using if you're still working to try to get it under control now once you get it under control you can probably branch out you know but, but for right now that's something that you do need to be cognizant of now don't know how much you know about this but most people do it's really not the sweating that gets us it is the bacteria under the arm that gets us so from what i understand it's the bacteria that makes you stink when you sweat not actually the sweating so you want to sweat because that's what's cooling your body off but apparently the the sweat hits the bacteria on the outside of your skin and then creates the funk i don't know for the life of me why that's a thing but it is and so getting rid of the bacteria on the outside of your skin now that is the real key and solution so a couple of things that i have been aware of lately that i want to pass on to you your towels make sure that you are changing out your towels regularly when you wash them they have this um lysol um a solution you can put in your water now to kill germs so washing and changing towels regularly using that lysol um stuff in your water also if you can find some dial soap and i'm talking about the old school orange dial soap that they make you shower in when you're about to go have surgery using that up under your arms as your first cleanse when you're double cleansing because again i double cleanse right so if you don't know what double cleansing is that is basically just washing twice and so the first time you want to wash with antibacterial and make all the places that you know you're going to sweat and then you go back in and wash with whatever you want for moisture or smell good or whatever and so if you can find the dial soap to use up under there that is going to help you as well because as you know the gold dial soap is specifically for antibacteria so search for that and try to use that with your double cleansing after you get out of the shower you want to make sure that your towel is clean a lot of girls are opting for those towelette cloths that you can get on amazon and i'll try to find some and link them for their face and for certain parts of their body think about it if you just cleaned yourself and got the bacteria off and you're using the same towel up under there you could be replacing the bacteria even though you just washed it off yeah it's a thing it's things that you don't really think about that could be aiding in that so you might opt for some of those um cleaning cloths to kind of like gently pat up under there or just making sure that you are changing your towels out every few days so that you are not re like reintroducing the bad bacteria onto your skin so just that quick 2.5 
And let's go to the last tip that I've learned recently that has really changed the game for me. Okay, y'all, this is the big one for me. This is the big one. Now, it's been all over TikTok, all over TikTok. I know you've seen it all over the, the YouTube shorts. I know you've seen it. And that is The Ordinary. Okay, again, an Ulta purchase. You can get this from Ulta. Y'all, I thought this was gonna be a million dollars, but it really was not. Again, for my mom, so like, man, I don't have money to buy all this stuff. Baby, save up you a couple of dollars every time you get paid. Or when somebody gifts you some money, uh, go do this for yourself. Or if you can use Afterpay, Klarna, any of those things, um, try to buy this for yourself. I do understand because I am a single mom, been there, done that. You don't always have the funds laying around for all this stuff that everybody on YouTube come up with, we know. But if you struggle with sweaty or stinky pits, more so stinky pits than sweaty, because again, we need to sweat. That's our body's way of cooling off. But if you struggle with stinky pits, y'all, it's the truth. And I know you've seen it, but it actually has been working for me. I ain't telling you what I think. I ain't telling you what I saw on TikTok. I'm telling you what this sweaty Texas girl is trying to tell you worked for her. It has worked. Moderation is going to be the key. So I've been using this every other day. I do not use it every single day. I use it every other day. In between the other day, the day that I don't use it, I do the scrub, okay? I don't want you to have a reaction to this. So you need to go in slow. Start a day and go like a couple of days. Me going every other day is me having already tested out what's gonna work for me, okay? This is a exfoliant toner and it has glycolic acid in it. So you want to be careful. You don't want to make your armpit sensitive um, or inflamed. You wanna make sure you're not allergic to anything. So make sure that you do not overuse this first, okay? And if you're really nervous about it, go ask your doctor or somebody about it. But you can go on TikTok and maybe there are videos for miles and days on this stuff and everybody's opinion. But I will tell you, one thing they didn't lie about is it works. Okay, so use it, start a day, maybe go like two or three days in between before you use it and kind of go like, ooh, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot it in a day, you know, and then see what works for you. I do not recommend every day. There's some ladies that say they use it every day, baby. What kind of armpits do you have? What, <laughs> girl, girl, what kind of pits do you have? I'm not gonna say nothing else, but that just does not seem like it could be good. I did that one day, kind of back to back, and baby, one side started sizzling and popping, and I was like, no, ma'am, we are not going to mess with her. So I do every other day, and in between, I do my sugar scrub. I do a pat dry with a clean towel, and I will tell you something else I do with this. If I no longer really use this, because what I found was when I use this, and I use this with it, I was still starting to kind of smell something. And I think what it is, is because this was already used. The bacteria was already introduced to this. Even though I wiped it off, my body was like, ah, nah, that's the same stuff, different day, and we don't want it. So I went out and I bought some spray deodorant, something that hasn't touched the armpit at all. Um, it was brand new, it was fresh, and it worked. It worked. So if you're going to do this and you're going to start over, I recommend you going and getting a new stick of deodorant. It can be an actual stick of deodorant. It doesn't have to be spray deodorant. Just make sure it is a new deodorant so that you are not introducing anything to the body at all. So I'm telling you, you can still use this. I just want you to get a new one because I found that using the old one did not work. So I'm probably going to have to toss this one and just go get a brand new one if I want to actually use the stick. And I don't care because if it works, it works. And y'all, this worked for me. So you're like, how do I do it? First of all, do not be shaving and then go and put this on. You are asking for fire. Is that what you want? That's what you want. That's what you got. That's what you're going to get if you put this stuff up under your arms after you shave. Save your shaving day for when you do your scrub. So here's what I do on Monday. We're going to take we're going to take Monday. Cause that's when I had to do my Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, on Monday, you take this little cotton rounds. And so, you know, you get them from Walmart, CVS, whatever that look like this, Target. 
and you know they're just these little thin cheap little cotton rounds and i'm not going to do this but you know you squirt it all on there and baby i'll be having this thing soaking wet okay and then you get under there and i don't necessarily rub up and down if you notice your armpit has like ridges that go this way so i wipe this way i wipe this way and then if i do wipe up and down it's right in that crease on the outside and the inside that i told you about to make sure you're getting with the scrub and then i throw this one away i usually do not do more than one cotton swab per armpit because i don't want to over make my pits sensitive or burn so i make sure i wipe it real good with that cotton swab and i'm going with the with the grain not against it and i throw it away and then i get another one soak it down do the other armpit it is going to make your pits feel sticky it is but if you do it at night and not trying to do it during the day as a deodorant like some people are doing it will dry and then by morning all you have to do is apply your deodorant and you're ready to go i have tried this in the daytime because i forgot at night or fell asleep and my pits were sticky like you pour some honey up under them all morning long don't do it and if i skipped a, like a day y'all i still found that it still wasn't smelly it was still good to go so do this at night no deodorant with it just this wake up it you smell yourself you probably won't smell a thing at all but if you want to you can take a wipe or something that you can throw away something disposable wipe up under there pat it dry and you can use your deodorant you're ready to go okay so just keep that in mind one wipe per armpit don't overdo it you don't want to ruin your pits i have heard that this evens out the skin tone because of it's being an exfoliant it gets rid of the funky smell y'all this stuff is the truth now my pits were already pretty good color wise because of the scrubbing when you scrub it's going to naturally keep your pits nice and pretty but if you've already had hyperpigmentation there i've heard that this works so very well on all parts of the body so but the armpits will be nice and beautiful after a while okay in between so on tuesday because i've done this on monday on tuesday i'm not going to apply this on tuesday i'm going to go ahead and scrub first and then shave scrub first and then shave again we never want to make our armpits inflamed or irritated we're just trying to make sure they are presentable pretty and smell good scrub then shave do not do that backwards and then wednesday it's a rinse and repeat i go back to this at night and my deodorant during the day and then what is it thursday i go back to this and then I just keep switching just like that. And when I use this and I shave, I don't wear deodorant at night. I let my pits breathe and get the good old air that's in the room. And I'm still fine the next day, y'all. This is still holding me from the day before. So keep that in mind. Last but not least, ladies, after you've done all this and you've double cleansed, and remember double cleansing is, you know, washing with your, you know, your antibacterial stuff first, and then your smell good. Um, and if you don't have antibacterial, it's fine. Just after you do your scrub, just wash double cleanse, wash in the important areas, the hot spots, and then, you know, dry yourself off. But the last finishing touch to making sure you smell good is going to be to have you some kind of summer perfume of some sort to put on. Like you want to have something to put on and y'all, it's going to make you feel beautiful. It's going to make you feel confident. And on top of your pits now smelling, you're going to be like, now I actually just smell good. You know what I mean? Have you ever smelled yourself or smell somebody else where you're like, they perfume smell good, but also smell something else. Like you don't want that. But if we're doing the things that we talked about today, then now you just want to smell good, right? So we've washed our clothes and all of that, but I want to smell good. And so y'all and you know I, you can see how i wore this baby out the burberry her the chanel um and this is the burberry elixir these are very light for my girlies that like light perfumes this one is very light these two these sisters are very light baby chanel is in your face boom and she is pretty expensive i will be honest but for my moms and my people who don't have a lot of money and don't want to be going out spending a gazillion dollars bath and body works has come out with their new brand and of like dupe fragrances of some of the most popular fragrances so this covered in roses is what what i'm wearing now yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. she smells good this is the delina dupe so i love this because it allows people to smell good on a budget and so for my mamas and my people that don't have the money to be going out buying these expensive perfumes 
go to Bath & Body Works, especially when they have their sales, okay? Watch for the sales. Go and buy you a bunch of the, ask them where's the table for the perfume dupes, the perfume inspired scents. Go grab you one or two of your favorites and use this to spray on when you get ready to go out or even for yourself. I love these sprays because they're so inexpensive and they last so long. I can spray it every day, all day long, and it's still gonna have a lot in it. But you must have your smell good. As you can notice, like everything's pink, right? You can, you must have your smell good to make sure that you smell good and feel confident after you've done your armpit regimen, okay? So it doesn't have to be the 200, almost $200 bottle. It doesn't have to be the $100 bottle. It can be the $20 bottle. This is actually, it retails for $18.95, but when I got them, they were on one of the sales. Um, I can't even remember which sale it was, but I surely did not pay no $18 for this. I never pay $18 for this. I always get them on a sale. So, um, you need to go sign up for Bath & Body Works coupons, go on their sale day when they have sale on their sprays and go get you some sprays so that you can smell good and feel good because now your pits don't stink. <laughs> okay, beauties, that is it. Girl, I hope that you heard some things that you can use. Listen, again, I am, was, is that girl. I have struggled with sweating and trying to smell good forever forever and i finally found what i think might be the recipe to save my life because baby i will take a shower 100 times a day i will wipe off 100 times a day i will reapply deodorant 100 times a day and i'm always trying to make sure i am trying to find a better way to do things a healthier way a better way to do things a, a way to make me feel more confident and i just want to share with everybody else because I remember being that girl growing up. So this is for the young girls that are still in school, trying to figure out what to do, the high school girls, you know, all the way to the young ladies that are out of school, to the adults that still struggle with it. Cause we as adults still struggle with, a, you know, adult uh, acne and adult sweating and all kinds of things. Like we're still human. And so I wanna make sure that I share something that I've struggled with with y'all. And so if you struggle with it too, then this is something that might help you. So I hope that this has helped you. Girl, take notes, go get some of these products. I will list them down below if I can if I can find them. If not, then remember that these two particularly are at Ulta. So if you have your local Ulta, you can go there and find these two. I got these from Target, but you can find them anywhere. Walmart, Target, CVS, any freaking where. Um, you do wanna make sure that they're not too cheap because I used a really cheap one and that baby fell apart on me. So while I was wiping. <laughs> So get you some decent ones, but they're going to last you forever because you're only using two every other day. Um, and then maybe even less. If you feel like you don't even need it that much, you can stretch it out. So do test it out. You can find this at Walmart, Target, and it doesn't have to be Tree Hut. There are cheaper ones that I love. They just don't ever have a brand on them for me to tell you what it is. But just a scrub it doesn't have to be tree hut which is one of the more expensive ones okay men's deodorant is everywhere i do particularly like some of the old spices i go through and i smell them and make sure they don't smell like a man they smell like unisex or a woman and i use it these you can usually find online you can find them um at target at walmart anywhere and of course your sprays you can find anywhere at all so Y'all, I hope this has helped you. I, I hope that you feel encouraged because I know I did when I started finding out about this stuff. I was like, man, I'm going to get in that tomorrow. If they saying this stuff works, I'm going to get it. If you are a single mom, a mom with a lot of kids, a mom that just doesn't have a lot of money or no support, I am here for you. I hear you. I understand you. Just pick the most important thing that you can pick. And for me, it would be this one because this is the thing that has worked the best for me. So this and maybe a new stick of deodorant or new spray, and it can be the cheapest one on the market until you can get one better. But just this alone will help you out a lot. And with Ulta, if you sign up for their rewards program, every time you buy something, you get a reward and it will give you money for your next purchase. And so eventually you won't even have to pay for this. So keep that in mind. I want you to smell good too. Um, you deserve to smell good. You deserve to feel confident. You deserve to be able to wear whatever clothing you want to wear and feel beautiful and smell good i want this for you too hey if you have not hit that subscribe button by now girl click it 
If you're my journey fam, I love you, love you down. And thank you for joining me again today. I hope this works. Let me know if it does. Do not overdo it. Don't come back here saying Tiffany told me to do it. I'm just telling you what works for me. The sweaty Texas girl that's in almost 100 plus degree weather. Try not to be out here smelling funky, okay? I will talk to you later in the next video. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye.